I added a honey super to this little box. They're doing well and growing fast. And they're set up back here out of the way from the house next to some old dog pens and chicken coops that are not being used anymore. Next to Mr. Sid's junk pile, it looks like. This is on the uh, border. This borders the DeSoto National Forest all the way around their yard. Hence the need for a deer feeder or the want for a deer feeder. But that, all the nectar and pollen they've been collecting is out of wild growth. There's nothing planted like clover or any type of planted crops or anything like that other than uh, you know within a mile or two of here there's a neighborhood that would have some flower beds and may have some little gardens but they're up here solely for Miss Mary's garden she's got got uh, some stuff planted somewhere in this area somewhere over here she tells me she's pulling some good sized cucumbers out of her garden this year so she's happy and the bees are happy and that's what matters and Mr. Sid been collecting firewood, getting ready for next winter. I'm doing a rainy Sunday afternoon checkup on some bees at a friend's house. box is nice and full. I've been smoking them before I started filming so they're all tucked down between the frames pretty good. I'm gonna get some glasses on and pull some frames out. Look at them. These are some old frames I put in there for them to work on and they're straightening them up, cleaning them up, getting them ready to use. Fill this one up with nectar. That one's getting nice and full. We got some good brood on this one. That's what I was looking for to make sure we still had a queen in there. That's a good sign. Plenty of brood. This box is fixing to get real strong real fast.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 